I already made several videos on SpaceX exposing it for nothing but CGI propaganda, nothing but fakery. People can't grasp the truth. Because sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. And as I showed before in a previous video, they can fake anything. Let's just take a look at this footage from back in 2009 with Chroma Key. Let's take a look at this. I mean, again, if they put this out in the news, you would believe it's real. Just take a look at all this with a supposed ship on fire. It looks real enough. And that's enough for the sheep to buy this figure. Let's take a look at SpaceX. I mean, wh why, did, why don't we see CNN, Fox News, or MSNBC covering this? All we get is SpaceX employees covering this in no media coverage whatsoever as far as doing interviews, on-site footage. All we get, again, is SpaceX footage. Let's take a look at this. In nothing but fakery. Now, something I want to touch upon. SpaceX Falcon. Now notice, there's no cameras propped up anywhere. I'll get to that a little bit. First, first off, let's finish off taking a look at this garbage supposed launch into space. Now we get over here to this footage. Now explain this angle. How do they obtain this camera angle? Again, I'm going to show this previous footage here. Now, you see this, this vantage point of the fake ball Earth. Of course, they're going to show the edge of the fake ball Earth. Now, again, where is the camera to get that position, that angle? How do they do this? Explain that. You want to explain that? I don't think so. Okay? At this angle, where is there? Another rocket in space filming this? People just want to believe. They don't ask questions. And they basically have piss poor discernment. They have no discernment. Whatever is produced by TV, they're just going to believe. That simple. Now let's take a look here. Look how fake this is. Again, they must get the vantage point of the fake baller. Look how fake this is. Look how phony this is. Are you kidding me? You people believe this? Just a complete joke. I mean, again, I'm going to ask for the fifth time, how do they get this vantage point with a camera angle? Now, look at this fake phony landing. Now, look how it pauses here. I'm going to back this up again. Look how it pauses here, and all of a sudden, it comes all the way to the side. From this vantage point, then it'll Falcon 9 has landed. back this up here again. One last time. It's a complete joke. Falcon 9 has landed. Sure, it has the operator's landed. moving to procedure 11.100 Give me a, recovery now. Give me a break, you liar, you fraud perpetrating fraud on the masses. Now let's take a look at this footage. Why don't we see any amateur footage of this supposed rocket taking off? This is not in deserted areas. People living in this region, this area, but of course no amateur footage. And look at this. The thrust in the bottom. It's like a candle in the wind. You know, if this is really, you know, propelling this, this rocket, you see the thrust basically goes straight down. It's going to the side. Nothing about this looks real. Look at this. Complete garbage. Well, people are going to just lap this up and believe it. Again, where is the amateur footage? Of this? Look how fake this looks. It looks like a video game from PlayStation 1. People just lap this up as real. Again, piss poor discernment. Now let's take a look at this total fakery. And they add other elements to create the illusion of real but again doesn't pass a smell test doesn't look real because it's not real thunderbirds are go now look what you see here you see some cattle running past oh this must be real look they have cattle running by and you have a rocket taking off this must be real now look at this this fake cgi cattle running by Coming up here in a second. There they go. Give me a break. Give me a break. Just another vantage point. The fakery. Now here you're going to see another element added. 
with the fake bird come flopping around. Look at the angle the bird comes in and goes up and down. Coming up here and say, look at this bird. He goes up, then he comes back down, he goes back up. What a complete joke. But of course, the sheep are going to buy it. They should have had sheep running past here instead of these cows. And again, it brings me back to this chroma key. You know, you, they can fake anything today. Just take a look at this. People think it's impossible to fake something like that. I mean, it looks fake. This looks more real than that SpaceX garbage that we just saw. Just take a look at this. Again, this is you know, older footage, by the way. This is from back in 2009 that they created this, this chroma key video. Well, you know, you're not going to convince the people that want to believe in Santa Claus. They want to believe in the Tooth Fairy. They want to believe in unicorns. They want to believe in the pot at the end of the rainbow. If you can't tell this is all fakery, there's no help for you. Absolutely no hope, no help whatsoever. You know, again, the fantasy is better than the reality, and that's what it all comes down to. People want to believe. It's very hard to fake real, and there's nothing real about this. And again, it's all about... Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. We're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. And very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why are they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society? I just saw this video by SpaceX. What complete garbage. I mean, what NASA does looks 100% legit compared to these clowns. This is ridiculous. And NASA, make no mistake about it, they're nothing but propaganda, but this... It's just an absolute complete joke. Take a look at this garbage. So we're seeing live footage of, of course I still love you, our drone ship, waiting for the, there's the engine. Slow it down, lights up the toy. You hear all the people cheering in the background. It sounds like a bunch of girls at a Backstreet Boy concert. Give me a break. Take a look at this rocket. Again, supposedly reusable. What are the mechanisms to keep this rocket you know, coming down straight on this platform, keeping it stabilized? It's completely ridiculous. And of course, the masses are going to buy it. They're going to lap it up. Because anything produced by Jeff Bezos in SpaceX... Anything produced by NASA must be legit. Why would they lie to us? People don't get it. Take a look again at this garbage. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And look at all these people here. Look at these clowns.
enough of that. What the heck is going on with these people? These mu They must be promised something. I don't know, money, free pizza. What's the deal? Must be family members that are all gathered here. Just complete junk. Complete dumbed down society we live on to believe this is legit. There's no hope for humanity and they can't see this is nothing but complete garbage. And supposedly this rocket landing on that drone ship, this is complete garbage like usual. I'm going to show an image here of the drone ship. They call it more like a sail barge. And give me a break how this thing supposedly comes straight down. You've got a rough ocean. You've got the elements, the wind, and whatnot. Suppose that they can have this rocket come straight down. Let's take a look at this footage. Complete garbage. There's no audio. They kind of sped it up a little bit. But the entire point of this is to prove the ball earth. Look how you see this rocket pointed at an angle, like parallel almost, and somehow it adjusts itself and comes down for a straight landing. Give me a break. There you go. It's all about proving the ball earth. Now, you got a rocket in the bottom. How does this pencil, basically a flying pencil, you know, regain itself and land straight down like this? What a complete joke. You know, I understand people want to believe this is real. You know, when I was a child, I wanted to believe, you know, that unicorns are real, that dinosaurs are real somewhere in Africa, still alive today, that there was a pot at the end of the rainbow, but this is not reality. People are still children. They believe this is possible, but it's not. And where's the amateur footage of this? Let's get a little bit of a close-up here. And again, look at this. Look at these swells hitting the side of this barge. You believe this thing can really land like this? Give me a break. No way. But, you know, people love the fantasy because it's better than reality. Let's take one more look at this just to see how fake and phony this is. All it is is propaganda. It's ball earth garbage. Go from that position, I understand with a rocket, but what is the mechanism to straighten it out after being basically parallel and coming straight down? Someone want to explain that? I don't think so. Complete garbage. That's all SpaceX is. Nothing but propaganda, nothing but lies.